Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Mike's Garage. Uh, just making a quick video on an order for some retrofit headlights, some projectors, some other parts that I'm doing for a ninth generation Honda Civic. Have not seen many videos on this online, so just want to put this out there in case anybody's looking for some information. But first, the parts. So I did order all this from the retrofit source. They are not sponsoring this video. Um, I've dealt with them in the past with the retrofit on my 2013 Honda CRV. Like what I like the parts they sent me, I like the way everything turned out, so I went ahead and uh, bought or purchased with them again this next order for the 9th gen Honda Civic. So let's go ahead and open it up. What we did was a full uh, HID projector kit. We're doing some Morimoto Mini H1 8.0s and we're doing some Morimoto Ballast 35 watt. Went ahead and sprung for some extra um, extra on the bulbs. We'll show you those in a second. All right, so first we've got some igniters. That's just the Morimoto igniters. We should have two of those in here. And we do, okay. Uh, this should be the wire harness, HD relay wire harness for 9,005, 9,006 bulbs, which is what the uh, ninth gen Honda Civic has. Virtually all Honda Civics have that, except for the older ones and the newer ones. So, yeah, looks like a 9006. Looks pretty good. Okay. That actually came with the kit. Always recommend getting the wiring harness. Don't want to fry your stock wiring, so just, just get it. It's not that expensive. Uh, this is something new that I got. I did not have this for the Honda CRV retrofit, and I thought, why not try it? Uh, fortunately, when I, per when I made this order, retrofit had like a 10% off everything, so why not? Seal splitter tool should make uh, prying those headlights apart uh, a little bit easier. Ah, so here's where we went a little bit extra. These are the Xenon Depot Extreme HID uh, rebased. So this is a, from what I understand, a genuine Phillips D2S uh, capsule, but it's rebased to an H11 or no, H1 or H11 base, I'm not sure. But anyway, so these are a little more pricey, but uh, from what I saw online, provided the best light output for those Mini H1 8.0s. So I'm really excited about these to see how they compare to what I put in my CRV. Uh, these are just our projector shrouds, and I just had to go with the smallest ones they had. So these are the Mini Gatling gun, uh, because as you may see in the video, if you watch it when I'm doing the retrofit, those 9th gen Honda Civic headlights are very small. The housings are very small, so. I didn't want to do too much cutting or anything, so I just bought the smallest ones they had. I uh, went ahead and bought a uh, Mini D2S locking ring tool. We're not going to be using this for the install on the Civic, but I did need this when I did the retrofit on the CRV, and it was a pain in the butt without it, so I just went ahead and bought it. Should have done it the first time. This is something that came free with the order. Uh, if you ever look at Morimoto special, or sorry, uh, retrofit specials. They usually have like over a certain threshold order amount, they'll give you something for free. So here's some free LED bulbs for the interior of the car. And they also gave me this mug. Spend over a certain amount of money. You get a mug, so why not? Rising retrofit. All right, now we have our ballasts. So these are the Morimoto XP35 ballasts, 35 watt ballasts. Uh, they discouraged me from using 50 watt ballasts for this setup, so I just went ahead and listened to them. So just your basic uh, Morimoto 35 watt ballast. Uh, the CRV I did do a 50 watt ballast, or 55, uh, but yeah, so that's the ballast. Got two of those. Uh, what do we got? Ooh, this is exciting. So. These are not for the Civic, but these are the Morimoto XB LEDs for the CRV. This is just your standard Honda, um, I guess it's just their standard size for fog lights, for round fog lights. I've been wanting these for the CRV and just never got around to purchasing them. And again, since everything was on sale, why not? Looks like we got some adapters there. But these. should be much better for light output on the CRV. So I'm really excited about these. 
and thank you TRS for this great wrapping job. <laughs> I feel like these things are pretty secure. Those look very nice. So again, these are the Morimoto XB LEDs and these are the Honda specific uh, size. So those look really nice. I'm really excited to get those on the CRV. Not excited about doing that because removing the bumper on the CRV is a pain in the butt. But labor of love, right? So we'll keep all this together. I'm really looking forward to getting these on the CRV. Hope my wife loves those. All right, and here's the more exciting part, I think. So again, this is the Morimoto Mini H1 8.0 by Xenon Projectors. And not initially what I wanted. Just wanted to make sure they sent me the same thing. Not initially what I wanted to buy. I was hoping to do the Morimoto MLED 2.0, the new MLED 2.0. Unfortunately, again, those 9th Gen Civic headlight housings are so small. It would have just been a pain in the butt. And I mean, I could probably do it, but... I just don't want to. So uh, comes with a bunch of parts, uh, and these 2.0, I'm sorry, the 8.0 Mini H1s actually come with little moto holders. I'm excited about that. Uh, keep those bulbs in there nice and snug. So got some parts, and here we go. Check out this projector. So if you're familiar with um, retrofitting at all, or you've just done some research, this is where all the magic happens pretty much. So, ooh, there's our mini H1 projector. 8.0 projector. Looks great. I'm really excited about this. Supposedly these have such, you know, really good output for being uh, a mini H1 projector. So it's 2.5 inch lens, and these are the 8.0s, so they have the AR coating which means that's gonna look nice and blue when they're off during the day. Probably can't see it right now, but um, it'll look nice. I know in the CRV during the day, the, the AR coating just makes them look blue, so it's really cool. But uh, I'm really excited about getting these projectors installed in the Civic. So yeah, that is the more exciting part, I think, of this retrofit, getting those projectors in there. I am gonna take a look at these bulbs, just give you a little view on these bulbs before we close this video out. Probably the shrouds also. Just want to keep everything together. There are cheaper options out there than going Morimoto and you know some of this other stuff that I paid a little bit extra for, but I've been really happy with the performance of the uh, the Mini P2S 5.0s that I have on the CRV. So I just wanted to stick with this and uh, see how these turn out. I'm really curious to see if these uh, Xenon Depot bulbs are actually gonna be brighter than the bulbs that I put in the Mini D2S projector. So we'll see how that works out. So here I just wanted to show you the little uh, mini Gatlin gun shrouds. Shrouds are just exactly that. It's just a shroud to cover the little parts of the projector you don't want showing. I mean, it's just plastic, chromed plastic pretty much, but. I like the way it looks. It's simple. I didn't want to do any halos, anything fancy like that. I just want the headlights to look stock. Um, just maintain that stock, clean appearance. Don't want anything crazy going on there. You know, nothing against halos. Uh, they do look good. You know, some of you people out there like them. Hey, go for it. It's really easy to put those on. Supposedly, I've never done it. I don't plan on doing it. Uh, but those options are there. It's another thing I like about these, uh, these products is they're very customizable. Pretty much anything you want to do, you can do it. It's just if you have the time and the money to do it. So let's take a quick look at, oh, I forgot to put these parts back on the projector. Let's take a quick look at these Phillips uh, rebased, again, bolts. I'm not gonna show that in there, I'll just get those later. All right. Now again, uh, since these are HID, Capsules, you really want to be careful with these. Do not touch the glass portion. You get any uh, grease on there, any kind of oil. Um, once you turn them on and they heat up, they're going to shatter. So definitely be careful with that. I think these are actually easier to be. Open them from the bottom. Let's see. There we go. Okay, so. This is interesting.
I'm gonna have to see how these wire up. But there is the, again, that rebased capsule. Looks very nice. And these are uh, 4800K, so looking for that pretty natural white output. And that's not going to be a cool white, and also because those mini H1 8.0s have that AR coating, uh, it'll actually drop the Kelvin rating down somewhat. It might be closer to a 4300K, but I'm okay with that. Um, I want the most light output down the road. I don't care too much about the light color. Um, you know, that color is going to come from the cutoff when you're looking at them in the front. It's going to have a nice cutoff, and that blue, purple will be there if you look at it from different angles. As far as the light down the road, I just want light down the road. I don't care about the color of the light, so I'm not going to do a 6000K or anything like that where it's blue. But anyway, I'll have to see how these hook up because there's a 9006 adapter. I'm not sure why it's there. So, I don't know. I'll have to read some more about that. Looks like the bulb itself is just uh, powered by these two connections, which should come from the ballast. Uh, yeah, that's the igniter, I believe. That's where the igniter connects to. So. Not sure what these are for, but I'll figure that out later. It looks like just a 9006 uh, adapter. Some little male spade connectors. All right. I'm not going to take that out of there. I want to keep it safe. <laughs> Spend a little bit of money for those things, so I want to make sure they stay uh, in one piece. If you get online and uh, look at the cost of some of these rebased uh, uh, standard, again, it's a standard D2S capsule but rebased to an H1 base. Uh, they get a little pricey, but again, I'm really excited about these. So that is pretty much everything. Uh, and yeah, there's that little connection for the igniter. Yeah, that's pretty much everything. Um, like I said, hopefully I'll be doing this within the next couple of weeks and maybe get a video of that put up. Again, I don't see a lot of content for ninth generation Civics out there, so uh, hopefully we can get that up in the next couple of weeks. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to post in the comments. All right, see y'all next time.